Hi everyone, welcome to Studio Jake. My name is Jacob Berry. I'm your host and I've got, I know I've got my hands full a little bit, but I just wanted to let you know that I do all kinds of comic book reviews, movie reviews, book reviews. I talk about pop culture and entertainment updates, all kinds of stuff. And I'm doing this very special series on The Dark Knight's Metal written by Scott Snyder and Greg Capula. Now a little bit of a backstory. Um, they... Uh, they, in the DC Universe, the mainstream DC Universe, um, Gotham City gets overtaken by this Challenger Mountain. That's what they're calling it. And it turns out it's being led from a dark multiverse where all these evil Batman who stole powers from uh, some of the greatest superheroes and supervillains, they are coming into the mainstream DC Universe to take it over. Now, uh, Batman's been captured. He's been sunk in to Challenger Mountain along with Superman and Sandman uh, just kind of bailed them out in, four, uh, in, episode, I'm sorry, in issue 4 of the series. Wonder Woman is leading the Justice League to try to defeat the Dark Batman. So now Hawkman has been missing since Convergence, since even, I think, even the New 52. Um, but Kendra Sanders just reappeared and uh, merged with the Anti-Monitor. So now... Though Batman and Superman, they escape the clutches of the evil Batman, again, thanks to Sandman, and <coughs> they found themselves at this mysterious forge, which is the forge of the dark multiverse and even their multiverse. And there they find Hawkman, who's been missing. Now, I also got the variants, and this explains where Hawkman's been, what he's been up to, uh, both, both do. But anyway, uh, and it's really interesting. I really enjoyed it. Um, I am not a huge um, Hawkman fan. I do like him as a support character, uh, not really as a um, not really as a main character. Like I would never buy like a unless it was like some special thing. I wouldn't buy like a, a Hawkman um, a graphic novel or anything. But this is really interesting. It's written by Jeff Lim Ray and drawn by Brian Hitch. Um, and I love this glossy cover, though. See, that's what he looks like whenever um, Batman and Superman find him at the Forge. Now, <coughs> he's been um, he's been trapped in like this underground dimension where he has been uh, working, and he's fought like an evil uh, version of himself, uh, Carter Hall. Now, apparently, um, I love this artwork here where it's uh, Carter Hall trying to retake uh, his mantle and um, this is um, this is him as he falls into the dark multiverse now I did like the concept and I like how they're bringing Hawkman into this I think that's pretty cool uh, like I said I'm not a huge Hawkman fan but um, apparently they're going to um, they're going to try to find a way because Hawkman has like I don't know, like something like five different origins. So Dark Knight's Metals is going to give him and Hawkwoman a very specific origin. And it's going to be canon from now on. Because even before the Convergence and New 52, and even in between post-crisis and final crisis, they kept rebooting Hawkman. So I'm excited to see what they're going to make the definitive origin of Hawkman of Carter Hall. So look for it um, at your local comic book store. Support your local comic book stores and pick up an issue there. As always, be sure to like and subscribe here at Studio Jake and ring that little bell so you get notifications. I just did a live um, discussion with uh, my all-star guest, Rosemary Duar, on the Fox Disney merger and what it means for you as a fan of the franchises that they produce. Um, Follow me on Twitter at Real Jacob Airy, Instagram Real dot Jacob dot Airy, Facebook dot com slash Author Jacob Airy to find me there, and of course you could find my blog www.jacobairy dot blog. So anyway, I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.